Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I'm exactly where I left off, I decided to record another episode, why not? It's, um, it's keeping my mind off the game, my, uh, game development stuff, because that's been absolutely bugging me today. I've, I've been not enjoying that, so I'm gonna do this instead, give myself a bit of a break. So, we're gonna do the Pink Rathian. Um, Pink Rathian, Pink Dance in the Jungle, yep, here we go. So let's get on to this quest. Speed through that. Okay, I don't know, I don't remember what the difference between Pink Rathian and Normal Rathian is, obviously the colour, but I mean like, I don't remember like if it has extra moves, if it, you know, anything like that, I can't remember any of that. So we will be seeing what happens. Here we go, that was quick. Damn, is she big or is it just normally this big? It's like she's big. No, yeah, uh, she's big, oh my god. I think. I mean, compared to the last ones we just fought, like the uh, Rathalos uh, Rathian we just fought, but they could be they could be small on purpose. I don't know. Is she angry already, or is that just like a a general thing she does? Fireball. Too bad the too bad she's gonna have more health than a normal Rathian. That the last quest. Like, that was so easy. Well, it wasn't easy, I mean, I did die once to Rathalos, but, um, I mean easy in the sense that they didn't have much health. Hermitar, really? You ganging up on me? This area's always been a pain to see in. I do prefer this version of it to Rise of uh, Sunbreak's version, um, just because the map feels more... The map feels... Oh, tails off, Elzy easy. The map feels larger in this compared to Sunbreak. Like, I feel like they condensed it down quite a bit in Sunbreak. Um, but they, it's definitely much better with, like, the, uh, what are they, bamboo shoots or something? I don't know what these exactly are. Um, but how they go invisible instead of you just being stuck with things all over your screen. Okay. Now, do you do two or do you do one? Okay, you do one. Okay, yep, just poke me with your chin and then immediately stop sprinting. I don't know how you manage that. <laughs> Imagine if you could just sprint, like you just instantly sprint, just like, let's say you're sprinting at, I don't know, 20k's an hour. You just go from 0 to 20k's immediately and then you could just stop to 0 immediately as well. That'd be crazy. Die, Pinky. You're gonna run, get out of here. Nope, okay. We did the, uh, the swap that we've learnt that they can do. Um, also, uh, for anyone that didn't see it at the end of the last episode, or people who've already commented, I don't know because I haven't obviously edited and uploaded the last episode yet, um, but I asked at the end of the episode to write in the comments down what your favourite monster is, so if you didn't see that, because um, you know that's the end of an episode, I don't expect many people to still be at the very end, but um, yeah, so this is going to be actually within the fight, so if you guys want to write down below, if you already have, you don't have to do it again, um, just for people that didn't see it. Just, I want to know what everyone's favourite is in the whole series, not just Freedom Unite. The whole series, so Gen 1 through 5. Because mine, as anyone that's watched my episodes so far will know, is Hypnopatris. Pretty sure. I mean, I guess I'm technically not 100% sure on that, but right now it is. Um, I do kind of have like a tie for favourites, like realistically it's Hypnopatris. He's baiting me. She's baiting me, I mean, like, it's, it's doing the movement like she's gonna run, then doesn't. Anyway, um, for me it's like Hypnoptris, you can loss, um, Shen Garen, Yamasakami, like, pretty much like all monsters from, uh, Free Unite, basically. Which makes sense, usually you're biased to your first Monster Hunter game. So I'd expect most people, their favourite to be from their most first game as well. close. She's not moving, she's just kind of staying still right now. I mean, I can't complain. Uh, I wonder what the uh, the size is going to be, like, afterwards. Um, you know, if, if this is just going to be, like, a normal size, or if it's going to be silver or gold crown. Because, I mean, she looks giant to me. 
Like, I'm not saying giant crown, just like giant as in just size. Because I, I don't know the gold crown sizing in Free Me Night, because I never did it. I've only done crown farming in World, Iceborne, Rise, Sunbreak. I never did it in the earlier games. I did sort of try a little bit in World, um, to, but only, not World, um, Free Me Night, but only with the guaranteed crowns. It's so like, you know, like that, those event quests where it'd be like, the, those, that like mini Yankuku quest and the mini Kezu quests, all those sort of things. But I never did it properly because, well, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I've only done it in World Iceborne Rise Sunbreak because I can have an overlay on, so I can see if a monster's gold crown mini or large before I even have to hunt it. Ooh, okay, it does two and angry, we have learnt. Like, if I can't have an overlay to tell me that the monster's like gold crown, then I can't be bothered having to just try and estimate and then like, you know. Like how I've seen people doing it on um on YouTube for like guides for world. How they'll stand next to the monster and see the size, like, yeah no, I can't be bothered doing that. Pink Rathian scale, that's what it was. Die. I cannot see what's going on. Oh my I couldn't see a single thing there. Okay, let's get a mega going. Okay, so she's still angry or just doing two now. I don't know which one. Okay, let's get some head damage in. Have we already broken the head? I'm pretty sure we have. Her tail was surprisingly easy to chop off, so I don't expect her to have an insane amount of health, but surely would have more than the uh, the dual monster Rathian. Rath yeah. But I mean, her head broke and her tail came off relatively similar to um, the dual monster Rathian. So we'll see, I guess. Could be near dead or could be nowhere near. <laughs> Who knows? Go away, Fermatar. No one likes you. I mean, that's one of my other, like, in the top, like, ten favourites is Damien Hermitar. I love him. I don't know why. It's just a cool... I just like the crab monsters, but specifically Damien. I'm screwed. I am not screwed. Oh my god, crab, go away. Can you kill the crab, please? Thank you. I don't know if I killed him or if Ingrathian did. Either way, get rid of the crabs. I might have to do like a, uh, a tier list of my top like 20 monsters or something at some point. Honestly, I reckon Espinas would be up there. I don't know top 20, but... I like frontier monsters, basically. They're, they're really... They're, they're more unique. Oh, limping. Um, excluding uh, Levisioth. Levisioth can go... Any, sorry for any Levisioth fans, but Levisioth can go... Like, disappear. I don't need Levisioth in any game ever again. <laughs> I just don't like them. Oh, we're gonna have to fight one in this game. Damn it. Luckily he has the uh, like easier cues to know when he's near dead, because he doesn't have it in world, not that I could notice. But in this when he's near dead, because like normally he has like lava flowing on him. Um like the little like yellow orange like bits going on him. Oops. Haven't gone to sleep yet. Um but when he's near dead that stops, so you can tell. There's actually oh, okay, not going to sleep. There's actually a lot of tells for like near close, like near death, excluding limping. Um in these earlier games that weren't, that some of them weren't brought over into the newer games. It's kind of surprising to be honest. Because I thought, you know, yeah, limping's all well and good, but you'd want, it's good to have more things as well. Like with Yankuku, how it brings ears down, which I know Yankuku is in Iceborne and its ears, I think, does flatten as it gets near dead, so that there are some things, but not all of them. And Pinky is dead. Please let me carve. <laughs> oh, I'm paralyzed. Okay, good. I got it all. Okay, next will be Azurathos. Actually, let's check if we can make the um, if we can make that weapon yet, because I just got a bunch of Rathian parts. Where is it? Ooh, we can. 
Oops, wrong one. Um, poison. Yep, let's make this. Oh wait, no, it's because I bought the eye prey fangs already. I was going to say, like, no, I didn't need the parts, I just need the eye prey fangs, I think it was. I already got them. Oh, does this make it into the same weapon? Interesting, I didn't actually know that. Can it... Oh wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing, I was going to say. <laughs> oh jeez. I was going to say, why isn't there at least one upgrade, but no. Um, poison, okay, so. Shells and a plate. Okay, interesting. Let's go do this Azura Rathalos. Um, this one. Is this what it's called? Azura Rathalos. Attack of the Rathalos. Yep. Let's get on to this. Same area as we were fighting the two monsters before. Luckily we won't be in the, uh, the jungle with the annoying vines in the way. Now, is there a balloon? Yes, good. So we can use that instead of our Psycho. Six, cool. Probably leave by the time I get there. Wait, six was it? I already forgot. Okay, never mind. Easier. <laughs> yeah, that was potentially a terrible idea then. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bring him down. This one's big as well. I forgot to check the uh, the size of the Pinkrathian. I forgot. I didn't think to check. Maybe, oops, maybe their subspecies are just bigger than the um, OG ones. I don't know. Getting some good damage in here. Oops, what the? Why did I make... Why did I start facing that way? Okay, he's angry. He's confused for a really long time. I'm not used to like being confused for that long. Okay, I feel like this is going to be much more of a pain than a pink Rathian. Rath oh, Rathalos plate. Is that the item or the actual plate, though? Because I know there's sometimes like things that called plate when it's not a plate. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I think it's just a normal piece. Oh my god. I would like this tail, he's gonna fireball. And he's very aggro. <laughs> very, very aggro. Okay, head broke already. And then after this quest, um, oh, I don't think there'll be anything more in this episode. But um, after this, then all we have to do is Diablos, Black Diablos, in one quest. Um, and then we'll go up to Shen Garen, and then Hypnocatrius, my favorite. Coming down now. Yep. I'm starting to remember things now, like just random little things that I would remember back, like when I played it all the time. Honestly, as much as the controls are clunky, you kind of get used to them. If you played the game in the past, I'm sure you get used to them if you haven't played it in the past either. But still, I'm kind of used to it again. What are you doing there? I'm just coming out. I know I can flash him. But I don't know if I want to just yet. I can't see anything. Give me your tail, please. Good, he's out of the corner. And he's flying a lot. I'm gonna throw him down. Hopefully that's perfect, good. I should go for his tail, but right now I'm just going for damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Tail came to attack me. It heard that I wanted to attack it. Oh my god, spin to win. This is going to be real dangerous when he gets out of confusion. I'm sure he's just going to like sprint or do something horrible. Tail. Okay, I did actually hit it. I did actually expect to hit it, to be honest. Oh, oh my god, I accidentally pressed this. 
I'm so glad his range isn't good enough. Oh my god. Can I get a sharpen in time? Nope. I'm gonna get hit by wind pressure. That was so close. So if I was like an extra meter out, I would have been screwed. I swear one of the Rathalos' moves when it does fireball, like you'd have to kind of follow it. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe that's like G rank or something. Jeez. I didn't even know where he went. A man loves to fly. Oh yeah, so he is moving it. I, was, I remembered him moving around when doing the fireballs. I'm not looking forward to eventually doing, um, well, fireball. We'll see if I do it. Um, but things like white fatalis. Um, I don't know if I'll actually be able to ever do that. I will at, l at minimum attempt it. Um, me and my brother and my friend, we always used to call, you know, the lightning ball, like the lightning strike attack that White Fatalis does? We always used to call that dodgeball. Um, this random, random thing there. I just remembered it while thinking about, uh, White Fatalis. Or Old Fatalis, as it seems to be called now. But I'll, I'll always call it White Fatalis. spinning. <laughs> Give me your tail, please. I want to cut it off. And add it to my collection. I actually don't know if I'll get his tail with this, right? It seems pretty hard to hit. Especially in this area where he keeps backing himself into corners. Okay, fireball. That would have been perfect opportunity. Oh no, blind. I was gonna say it would have been perfect opportunity to go for the tail. Come on, I want that tail. It's like five hits away, I bet. I just have that feeling. Okay, he'll come down now because he failed. One. I don't know if that second one actually counts as a tail hit, or if it would hit the body, technically. I mean, it was the tail, but you know. I don't know how hit detection is in this game. Give me the tail! Bro flies way too much. And I'm bouncing. That's so helpful for cutting the tail. What was that? I didn't even realise that they could sprint without falling over like that. He just went straight into a fly. Oh, give me that tail! Now my weapon is weak. Or blunt, you know. Now he's angry. Look, either give me a tail or just die. I'm happy with either now. Obviously I really do want that tail though. There we go, finally. No. Um, are you... Are you serious? Oh my god. I've seen this happen to people before, but it's never happened to me. Look at this. The tail's up there. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my god. So, he's he was being a little a little turd. He was like, "Yeah, I'll give you my tail, but you won't get to carve it." Because I didn't ask him if he, I didn't ask him to let me carve it. I just asked him to give it to me. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. That's literally never happened. Or as far as I remember, that's never happened to me. Is he doing a world tour, or is he leaving? Oh yeah, you leave now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as you leave your tail up here, come on. Can I just, like, somehow carve it from down here? Oh, that's so annoying, come on. Oh my god. 
Look at it up there, just looking at me, laughing. I'm disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> it's actually so annoying though, like seriously. But also quite funny. I thought it was going to go under the rock, because like when it first came off, it's, if you guys saw it like slid under that rock there. I thought it was going to stay under there, but nope, it popped up on top of the rock. Anyway, let's kill this dude as punishment. That's what I reckon. His punishment is death. Imminent death, maybe. Maybe. Yep. No. Yeah. I was going to say it looks like he's getting into his limp posture, and he is. This is your punishment, mate. If you just let me have your tail, I would have killed you anyway, so I mean, yeah. Fair enough, mate. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure his sleep area is five. That tail is taunting me. Oh. Oh, you're coming here, okay. Or are you coming here to go there? No, nah, he's just coming straight here. Interesting. I didn't expect that, considering he's limping. He's come back to be reunited with his tail. He's gonna limp again? Yep. Okay, so he did... Oh. Paintball comes off now, of course, but he should just go into five. Unless he's doing World Tour. Okay, now he's going off to five. Yep. Oh, why can't I climb up there? I'll be able to see the tail better from here. Look at it. Look at it looking at me. Sad times, eh? Oh yeah, and we get three Velissa Prey. Yay, just what I always wanted. Yeah, get wrecked, mate. Punishment for you not letting me have your tail. Well, letting me carve your tail, because technically, yes, you gave me your tail. <laughs> You just didn't let me carve it. But you're gonna die in five hits. You ready? You ready? You ready? Look. I don't think that was one. I don't think I actually made contact there. Five hits and he's dead. I shouldn't hit him here or then I won't be able to carve his body either. Oh, that would be so horrible if he died in a loading zone, and then it's just like, I could carve the tail or the body. Really? Why are you flying? Calm down. I gotta hit you five times. One. Two. Three. Two of them are a bounce, but you still do damage on a bounce. Two hits. Let's see if my prediction's correct. Oh, pff, I forgot about that, that you still get hit after the fact. That was risky of me there. There wasn't much room. Four. And five. Okay, I fail. I didn't do it in five. But technically I only did two hits without bouncing, so I mean, if he's three hits away, technically I'm right. Yeah. Okay. Kitty being poisoned. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. One, two. If he's one hit away. Okay. Get my health up. I'm gonna get wind. Okay, or stepped on. Wait for him to finish. Ah, Would have been so good if he died there. That's, that's kind of unfair, mate. You know, you know, flying into a wall and then counting that as me hit being hit. Yeah. Just die. You need to be punished. Seriously. I wish I had more flash pods, or flash bombs, whatever they're called in this game. I think it's flash bombs. Please! Oh, I managed to knock him down, that was good. Watch out for the ball. Watch out! Oh, that's still hit. That's fine.
just sitting in the corner. And there we go, he's dead. Punishment. I'm even going to kick him. He deserves it. <laughs> uh, there we go. So that's them two done. That, actually, that wasn't too bad. Well, the recordings haven't been too long either. But that wasn't too bad. They really... I don't, I don't know why I'm not speeding this up. They weren't as... Like, they... I was thinking since it was single monster quests, the pink and, um... The Zerugis, and I thought it was going to be harder. But it wasn't too bad. Silver Crown Longus, that makes sense. Let me check my, um... Pink Wrath in. I don't have any names, but... I, I can't tell because I don't have names. Um, let's check out the armor. Can you make a new, a different weapon? No. Okay, so it's just those standards. Let's check here. Wrathless Soul, 38. Um, let's check skills. Attack 3, protection minus 1. Okay. Can we make, we can make the Rathian Helm, the pink helm. So you can make a few pieces, but I'm I'm not gonna for now. Let's restock. And I'm going to end this episode here as well. So next episode we'll be hunting Diablos Black Diablos in one quest. And and then as I said, Shengarin and um Hypnocatrice in the episodes after that. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.